Well, good morning. I'm on my way to Canic Chase. It's now half past four in the morning, and the reason I'm up this early and I'm travelling this early is because I'm going to have to go down the M6, and it's a Friday, and I think I might get stuck in traffic. So what I've done is I've set off really early in the hope that I'll miss all the traffic and I'll get there in good time and I'll be able to uh, get some really decent filming done and hopefully not have to rush anything, fingers crossed. Now, the good thing about this today is I've obviously got the camera there for the normal documentaries that I do and now I've actually got a 360 camera. So, you're going to be able to watch it either normally or on 360 or on both that's entirely up to you you know um, but good note is like I said we're on our way now to Canic Chase and we'll see we'll see if there's any black eyed children werewolves and UFOs and everything else is supposed to be there quite a lot to cover obviously I'm not going to get to cover it all but you know I'll, I'll have a good look around and um, see what we can see and then, like I said, later on tonight, I'll be spending the night there as well. So, hopefully, something will happen. Paranormal-wise, anyway. I don't want to get beat up again. It's crap, the last time it worked great. As you can see, I've now arrived. I've parked in one of the uh, car parks. It's obviously lighter than what it was. And when I arrived initially, it was pitch black so what I've done is I've just got my head down for a, for an hour or so let the light come up um, so I can start filming um, and then later on we'll be back at night time when it's pitch black again just to see you know what's what's what see if there is anything anything about these black-eyed children um, and werewolves and slender man and everything else but apparently the, the big one is the black eyed children so that's what we'll go with for now okay obviously if I see anything else in the middle of the night then we'll take that as it happens now like I said we're now filming on 360 as well as you can be able to see if, you, if you're watching this on 360 you'll be able to see what's going on in the car um, the 360 one won't be as long as the normal video this is purely down to um, battery life more than anything else but you know I'll try and make it as interesting as I can um, because like I've said to you a million times it's new technology and I'm still learning so but fingers crossed it's gonna be good you know let's let's you know be positive and see what we can do all right so, we're here, might as well get ready, aren't we, and get out there. What do you get if you cross a pig, a bit of a growler, something that puts the willies up you, illegal alien, and kids with black eyes? No, we're not talking about a night out in Burnley, I'm here at Canic Chase. One of the more surreal and beautiful places in the chase is that of the German military cemetery. This 360 version should show you what I mean. Now as beautiful as the chase is, there is also a darker side. In the 1960s, Canic Chase was a focus of one of the largest manhunts in UK's history. After the bodies of three young girls were found murdered here in the forest. Now I don't know how they managed to find these young girls because if you have a look around, especially on a 360 camera, you'll see how dense the forest actually is. But since then, People say that the place is surrounded by evil and the amount of paranormal activity around the area has spiked with sightings that include werewolves, pigman, 
Black Eyed Children, Slender Man, UFOs, Ghosts. As a matter of fact, it's claimed that there's that much paranormal activity. I'm surprised there's any room for the trees. Canic Chase is in the county of Staffordshire and is home to 3,000 acres of land and is said to have been designated an area of outstanding natural beauty on the 16th of September 1958. Now obviously, you can see why. Now as I've already mentioned, 360 isn't the best in the dark and in the early parts of this nighttime footage, it isn't the best, but stick with me. Right, um, it's the middle of the night at Canic Chase. Um, I'm near the cemetery, um, the war cemetery that I showed you earlier on. Now, apparently there's been loads of activity around here. Um, so, I thought I'd start off here, because um, that way I'm right in the middle, or I think I'm in the middle, it's that big, I'm not sure. Um, so we'll go for a walk, see what we can see. Let's go. So just to prove that I am where I say I am, um, that's where I came earlier, as you know. I'm not sure how this 360 camera is going to work out, but... Let's try it anyway. Okay, so there you go, that is to show you that I am where I say I am. None of this standing in a wood near my house and then claiming that I'm in Canic Chase. Because I know it happens, it'd be quite easy to do. It's at this point I do not recommend anyone else trying this sort of thing on their own because it's dangerous and what I do is a great risk to myself. It's certainly not for the faint hide and I use every precaution I can to ensure my safety. I'm not sure if it's raining or whether it's snowing. But it's definitely doing something. And I'm hoping that it's not doing gonna stay. Looks like it's snowing to be honest. I hope it's not going to stay because I'm the one that's going to be sleeping here tonight. Right, now this is where it starts to get interesting because I'll just stop a minute, see if it'll focus for you. Um, now we're going into the forest. Let's see if I can. Slide around me because I've got a light. Oh, like he's got a light. So what I'm going to do is go into the woods, see what I can see, if anything. But what I've got to be really careful with is that they have um, deer and stag around here. Um, so the last thing I want to be doing is startling any of them because if I do startle them. I think I'll be getting attacked and I really don't want to do that. Um, so fingers crossed none of that have none of nothing like that will happen to me. Uh, I won't be happy. Now one of the other things you tend to find is when people are doing like the ghost hunting bit is that they always hear a noise and then go Oh my God, did you hear that? Um, what you got to remember is we're in the middle of a national park. You're going to hear all sorts of noises. Um, animals sneaking around in the forest. Deer, possibly. Um, I mean, I heard a noise earlier on today and I was hoping I was going to try and catch it. Um, it actually sounded like some sort of, almost sounded like a wolf or a howl, but it wasn't, I don't think. I think it was a deer um, doing whatever they do. By the time I got to where it was, when I got my rear 
recording stuff out, it stopped. So what was that? Damn. When I'm editing in 360, it's hard to judge the lighting when filming in the dark. But because the headlamp from eBay kept failing, I decided to go and get a new light. Fingers crossed, this might help a little bit more. Uh, the good thing about this light is that it's obviously battery, battery powered. It's big, but it's dead light. As you can see, if you're walk, looking on there, 360. I'm half expecting to walk into some doggers, I'll be honest with you. Which should be interesting if we do. still um, I was going to move away from it but I don't think we give it a proper chance to be fair uh, because the lighting that we had was crap and you couldn't see anything I'm not seeing anything at all. Now I don't know whether you lot will, uh, because that's what generally happens once I put these videos up. Somebody always says, oh, I've seen such and such a thing at such and such a time. Um, so if you do see anything, let us know. Let's carry on. My arms are aching on this side where the camera is, and that's only because I had some um, had an operation. Oh, mushrooms. Right, as you can see, I'm um, still here, about to three in the morning, um, still nothing. I've come further onto the side now, I've come well away from the um, cemetery. So now I'm on the complete opposite side. So what I'm going to do just walk around slowly, see if we can see anything or hear anything. But as at the minute, as I always say, nothing. The only thing I do seem to be attracting is flies, moths and 
stuff like that because of the lights that I've got. But other than that, not a lot. Now, I'd love to win the woods, but as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit too much overgrown. I'll end up breaking my neck. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through there at all. Now this is the path that I never even came up today, so it's not like walking blind, so to speak. I don't know where it goes. So I could be walking into anything. Now that is what I'm more afraid of. As you can see, I've got some sort of dung there. I don't know whether it's horse dung or whether it's um, a, from a deer or a stag. So I've just got to tread very carefully because I really don't want to run into one of them as lovely animals as they are. They'd be really pissed off if I bumped into them at this time of night. Right, it's now five o'clock in the morning. Um, I seem like I've been here forever. Still not seen anything, not heard anything, not even any animals, which is, I don't know whether that's weird or not, but I haven't really heard anything about from the old bird in that. Um, really tired now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and get my head down, I think, because as it is at the minute, haven't seen head, tail, ghost, nothing, nothing at all. Um, bit disappointed because, according to everybody, this is like the place to be. Again, I've come again expecting to see something, come across something, and I've come across nothing. So um, I know I keep looking at this camera, and that's a 360 camera, but to both of you, I haven't seen anything. So. Um, Five o'clock and I still haven't seen anything at all. Bored. The only good thing about all this is that it hasn't rained. Um, I thought it was going to do at one point, but it just hasn't done. Ah. Mushroom. Yeah, so I thought it was going to rain at one point, but it hasn't done. Anyway. keep stopping because I'm hoping to hear something and I'm not hearing Jack really go back this way I know I keep saying I'm gonna go to sleep or whatever and um, but I just really want to give it a good go I want to give it a good chance Because the last thing I want is people saying, he wasn't there long enough. Well, I have. I've been here a bloody long time, to be fair. That's like one of the bike trails. So, I've been here all night, as you know. Um, seen nothing. 
no slender man no black eyed children no ghosts no werewolves no ufos and whatever else is supposed to be here matter of fact i've heard nothing seen nothing and i'm very disappointed um saying that like i always say just because i haven't seen anything it doesn't mean that there isn't anything but it seems to be a regular theme a recurring theme that these most haunted places wherever i go don't seem to be that active to me um, maybe i'm just unlucky as usual but you know you can't fault me for trying so um as far as i'm concerned this is a another chapter closed um really really tired now because i've been at this all day as you know um i've given it a real good go i don't think i could do any more than what i've done so um all i can say is it's time to sign off you've been watching curiosity i'm gary j i remember do something that scares you thanks for watching <laughs>